Hi folks, uh, welcome back. Uh, the link uh, for this story will be in the description. It's, uh, we're on the Daily Record online. Okay, so this is a, a pretty horrific story. I think you've probably heard about the woman who um, fell from the window in the flats um, in Royston, Royston, up Royston Roadway. Well, apparently someone um, managed to take a picture of the woman as she was clinging to the window <clears throat> and it looks pretty uh, pretty scary and heartbreaking to be honest and very ominous because there's somebody else in the picture so let's read this heartbreaking image shows women clinging to Glasgow window moments before tragic death see the, see the grammar shows women cling clinging daily record is there anybody proofreading this stuff the photograph the photograph was taken by a shocked eyewitness um, to Al Alem Shemeni's death, she was an immigrant, which had sparked concerns over support services for immigrants housed in the city's tower blocks. Well, we'll look into this issue of surrounding support in a second, but let's just take a quick look. So, my God, there she's there. Now she's ten floors up, people. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's up there. Or it was round that side. I'm not really quite sure exactly where it was. But there she's there now. I want you to see this. Who's this guy? He's got a hoard of her hair. So he's obviously put her out that window. He's trying to teach her a lesson. And he's holding on to one arm here. And she's hanging on there. But he's got a hoard of her hair. Look. Now he's a black guy. He's got a hold of her hair. What's he all about? And we're talking about immigrant support services. Who's he? Right, okay, so let's move on. Al M. Chimney desperately clings, clings on before falling to her death from a Royston Road flat. And it says that blah, blah. Shock eyewitnesses watched from the street and nearby flats as she struggled desperately to claw her way back into the flat. But she plummeted 100 feet to the ground, dying instantly. M minutes later, locals in Glasgow Royston apprehended a man as he tried to flee. That's absolutely shocking. Now, I, 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 we're talking, this guy's obviously, um, but let's move on, I'm, I'm not going to say anything now. He said, I could hear hysterical screaming. I went to the window and saw the woman being held by the hair. She didn't fall right away because she was trying desperately to hold on to the window. And she was scratching at the wall with her feet trying to get a hold to keep herself from falling. I thought I could take a photo as evidence but I was really hoping she would be dragged back in by whoever was holding her hair. As I watched she fell to the ground and she didn't move. My God. What that woman must have went through. Jesus, that's really sad. Horrific. Now let's move on. Alan Alem's tragic death prompted calls last night for Labour MP Paul Sweeney, who represents the area, for a major hope overhaul of support services for immigrants, many of whom are housed in the city's tower blocks. He said, I am continually shocked at the hostility and vindict vindictiveness that most vulnerable people in the world are treated when they come to this country. What are you talking about, mate? The system is broken and leaves people even more vulnerable. Look, you half-wit. An African guy pushed her out the windy. Is he he's probably an immigrant? I mean, in the history of the Royston Road flats, how long have they been up there in Glasgow? Has there been any other Glaswegian? Any other Scottish person pushed an immigrant out of windy? What are you talking about, Sweeney? You half what? Blaming it on us? An African guy came running out the block, uh, block 150 and tried to run away, but he fell over a wall and he got up, grabbed by a concierge, he got grabbed by a concierge and a couple of women. Apparently they ran here and held him to the ground. 
to the Polish game. Um, unbelievable. He's obviously going to say he was trying to help her. But what's he doing holding on to her hair? Listen, if somebody you love is hanging out a window, you're going to grab them by their arms and you're going to drag them. And they're not going to fall. You'll get them in. By hook or by crook, you'll drag that woman back in. But he didn't. He? He's holding her hair. Right? So who's, what's his history? That's what we want to know, Sweeney. You madman talking about facilities for immigrants when one immigrant throws another immigrant out a window. Talk about fudging the issue. Yeah, maniac. Anyway, anybody with any information I should phone the grass line and let the mob know. That's horrific. But what a terrible story by the way. It's hard to get that image out of your, your mind. Okay folks, um, if you like the content, remember and uh, subscribe and uh, like the video. It is what it is. Peace out.